Hi, in this video I will show you step by step how to install Instant Client software. To install Instant Client software, you will have to follow the next steps. You create a folder on your C drive and you will name it Instant Client. Make sure that there is no space in between the first word and the second word. Then you extract the two files that we downloaded earlier into this folder that you've created in step one. And then we'll go ahead and modify the environment variables to give the path to where the instant client is located. And then you will run setup for ODBC install, which is part of the executable file that's extracted in the instant client. Then you will restart your computer to complete the configuration and installation of this software. Go ahead and extract the instant client basic file first into the instant client folder that you created on your C drive. Then you come back here to the downloads and extract instant client ODBC into the same file, which I've already done in order to save time on making a lengthy video. And this is what it should look like. You will have one file with all these different items extracted in it. Note that when you extract the second ODBC file, it may give you a warning message asking you if you want to replace or make the two files. On that warning, just click yes, you want to make the two files. Next, we will modify the path variable. To modify the path variable, what you will do is you go to the start, computer, right click on it, and go to properties. This is on Windows 7. If you are using Windows 10, you will just right click on the start button and then select system. It will get you the same window. Then you click on advanced system settings and then environment variables. Then down here, locate the path variable. Click on it and then click edit. Modify the variable value by placing a semicolon and then copying and pasting the location of the instant client. So we'll go back to the C drive, we'll go back to instant client, open the instant client and copy this path. And then we'll go back to the variable values. Notice that there's a semicolon which I typed in there. You may not have seen it, but it is there. And then you click OK. And then you want to create a new entry. And then you click on new. Then you type TNS underscore admin. And then enter the variable value, which is the location of the instant client. And you click OK. And then you click OK again. And then to close the system properties window, you just click OK. Once you are done modifying the environment variables, you will get back to the instant client path and you will be in the instant client folder. So you want to locate this file, odbc underscore install. Click on it, right click on it, and run as administrator. This will install the software. You will have a user account control. Warning message come up asking you whether you want to modify the content. Then you say yes. And that's it. It happens in a flash of a second, which you may not have seen, but it really did happen. So at this point, you just have to go ahead and restart your computer. Make sure that you save all the changes on anything else that you worked on. After your computer restarts, download and paste these two different files, which I've provided a link for. You will be able to download them from your Udemy account. Click on it to open it. You want to copy the path where your database home is located. So what you do is you go to your computer, you go C drive, application, class is the name of my computer, you go to product, close it, and this is the home. Click on there. And copy this path go back here and modify it this was a listener file for 11g and i'm modifying it because i made the changes for 12c and i will also change this file here 
then we'll also go ahead and make the final change at the bottom here make sure this listener file will allow us to connect to the database one more change that needs to be made as you can see the instant client still shows 11g because i copied this file over from my 11g installation i will go back to my c drive and copy the location of the instant file go back to my listener and make a change so that it references uh, the 12c so we save this file and you close it so what we want to do now is go back to the next file which is the tns names aura file open it review it make sure that the database name is correct which is the sid make sure it's correct in all these locations and it's not referencing 11g once that is done you are all set the next thing that you want to do is you want to copy these same two files into the location that i will show you here highlight this tns names aura file and the listener file once these two are highlighted you go back to the c drive so click on class product 11 12g 12c i'm sorry and then you look for for the code network open that then open the admin folder and uh, you have the tns uh, names and listener files in here you want to check and make sure that they align with the two files that you copied over into your um into your instant client if, if they're not we will have to make some minor modifications to these two files and then copy these two files over into the instant client we want these locations to uh, to point to there you will notice that the location for the listener is showing the current location we want them to point to the instant client because we want to access the database remotely so we'll change this path so that it shows the instant client um, location as a location as a default location for the listener then we'll click on save and then we'll go back open the tns names same thing here want it to point to the instant client and then we'll click save and we'll copy this file since we've made some changes copy these two files go into the instant client and then replace copy and replace copy and replace both of them okay that takes care of um, setting up the instant client 